This is a poem called The Walnut Tree and it, it reflects some of Leonard Clark's personal concerns um, about his parents and about fatherhood. Um, as a young child he was fostered and he never knew his father and in fact his father had given assurances that he would financially support um, his foster parent which he never did. So I think that left him with a, a degree of bitterness and a degree of rancour um, and some emotional feeling towards his father. So this is the walnut tree. October, the hard nuts are ripe for gathering. The shadowy tree brooding solitary at the lawn's edge before squirrels scurry up the furrowed bark, balance on criss-crossing branches, begin plundering. He planned it, my mutton chop grandfather, a golden jubilee celebration, feeling proud, thinking too of descendants. A fretwork framed sepia photograph shows a squat, balding man, face as crinkled as walnut kernels themselves. The tree thickening behind him, warm green leaves spreading. I remember my father, Panama hatted, comfortably sitting in deck chair, as if on chroma sands, enjoying the lazy sun, our family there, my sad-eyed mother, pouting sister, and the two maiden aunts, tight-lipped and criticising each other's finery and me, sprawled full length on the hot grass, an Edwardian afternoon of innocence. Only the tree and I remain, and hardly dare look at it, wonder why I bother with the nuts, for business and health gone, my adult father hanged himself from one of the loaded branches, a misty autumn morning, and I by myself at home that day to find him stiffly dangling. He bought down a great share of nuts, a magnificent harvest. They're all dead now. I live on with the tree of doom, gladly leave the white flesh of the walnuts as spoiling weather and squirrels, timber to fellows, coffin makers.